My name is Birid Lindholt. I work for the International Finance Corporation, which is part of the World Bank Group. I'm Ruud Brouwer of the Currency Exchange. IFC and TCX have been working together already for several years to improve access to local currency financing. We want to repeat the transformational impacts we have had in microfinance and climate finance. One of the biggest and most persistent barriers to renewable energy and climate investments in developing countries is currency risk and interlinked the interest rate risk. In most frontier markets in the past, the only viable option was dollar financing. However, people pay for electricity in local currency. This creates a risk that there will be not enough to pay back debt if the local currency loses value. Or tariffs need to be pushed up, shifting the exchange rate risk to consumers, which in most cases are barely above the poverty line. The long time frames involved with renewable energy investments, for instance, mean changes in the value of a currency of 50% or more are not uncommon. Changes in interest rate also affect the value of a currency, and both can spell disaster for a project. In a pilot, TCX and IFC would collaborate to help develop a pipeline, a project, and provide financial support where needed. TCX would provide long-term hedging capacities in frontier and emerging markets, there where no commercial markets exist. We will expand the availability of long-term fixed rate or inflation-linked climate financing to 8 years, 10 years or more if needed. IFC would provide local currency loans and cross-currency swaps using donor funds to partly cover a first loss. A first loss guarantee structure will improve the project's risk profile. Lower risk leads to lower risk pricing, which will help make the project more economic. The instrument combines clean energy access with poverty alleviation. It has a wide range of applications, from the household level with rooftop solar, all the way to large-scale renewable energy projects. Reducing the risks of these projects makes them more financially sustainable. With $250 million in donor risk capital, the pilot could provide a hedging capacity for clean energy investments in developing countries, equal to about $1.5 billion, which can reduce 1.7 metric ton CO2 per year, or in total, 39 metric ton CO2 over the operational lifetime of the assets. To put that in perspective, that's half the emissions of Singapore. Implementation has already started. We are in discussions with the Rwandan government and the Rwandan utility to establish a systemic hedging program for foreign currency risks. To expand this pilot to other countries and other utilities, we are in discussions with several development banks. Also, some ideas to strengthen the business model of solar rooftop providers are being picked up. Our programs are scalable. It will be very simple to achieve fast, organic growth. Please, follow our efforts.